Hello everyone, this is Navjot Singh Jadeja and welcome to today's lecture on what is data mining. So basically you have heard a lot about data mining and machine learning in you know, current trends, newspapers, medium.com and so many places. But very few people know what exactly is data mining. So in today's lecture, we'll be talking on what is data mining. Uh, before that, I'd like to tell you that what are we going to discuss in this lecture. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss on why data mining because it's very important that we understand what is the importance of it why is it so in discuss why is it so important and then we are talking on what exactly is data mining then we're moving further and finding out what data mining is used for what are the applications where can we use it and then finally you know what kind of data we need to mine because that is also important that you need to understand what different types of data are available and how can we mine uh, the data and also it is important to understand that not all data can be mined. That is a very important point we'll be discussing. And then finally, uh, major issues in data mining. So let's move further. So as I said, why data mining? So basically we are drawn with the data. It's like we're having so much of data and we're not having knowledge. And data mining is basically a misnomer. A lot of people understand data mining in a very wrong way. Like if you're doing a gold mining, and if you're doing coal mining, then in those cases, you're actually digging it for the gold. Whereas here, you're not you know, mining for the data, you're mining for the knowledge. So data mining is also known as knowledge mining or knowledge discovery in data mining. And the reason for data mining being so important is that there's a huge amount of data available. In fact, according to uh, statistics, which I have been knowing and studying is that the amount of data which is produced in the last two years is more than the total amount of data produced in earlier whole century. So it's a huge amount of data. So where is this data coming from? This data is coming from different platforms which you are connected on, like social media platforms. Every day, all of you log in into social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. And you have been posting so many things. You talk on things, you like, you, you, know, you dislike, you share, everything. Then there are e-commerce platforms which have taken a boom, Amazon, eBay, Flipkart, etc where people go online, surf products, check out the different, uh, you know, comparative analysis of the different products. And there is a whole lot of, you know, data generated there also. Along with that, uh, all governments are getting online. So there are a lot of online records of your education, the other links, the bank transactions, and so much more. And also, uh, you know, there's a whole variety of new data being generated from news, blogs, and other medias. So this overall means that there's a huge amount of data available. Now, only concern is how we can utilize this data to generate some sort of a knowledge which can be used for decision making. So that is what uh, we're talking in data mining. It's basically uh, discovering hidden patterns from already available data. Data can be available in different forms. It can be hard copy, it can be soft copy, it can be online records, it can be clicks on the media, it can be you know your cookies in the browser so much but if that can help us and find out you know some uh, patterns some knowledge that is what the data mining is all about and it's also extracting uh, knowledge from the data which can make some decision making effective uh, it is based to decision making systems it is also extraction of interestingness so when we are talking about interestingness uh, we'll be talking in the further lectures how uh, interestingness is a parameter to be judged when we are talking on data mining and also it can be used for searching algorithms and a lot of other query processing. Now, uh, basically, you know, what is it that we are talking about? What is the difference? So data mining is not searching. How is it different from searching? So we are not writing queries. It's not the database. Data mining is applied on various forms of data. So it's not always that we are working with the same kinds of data. That's a concept of data warehousing, which we'll be covering in some other lecture. But in, in order to understand in simple words, data mining is not applied on single type of data. Whereas query processing or maybe, you know, writing the query in the database is in the same type of data. Additional task uh, is also that we need pre-processing. We are talking on the, you know, issues related to the data from different sources. So that is pre-processing is performed. And that is the reason it gives you more effective results. Now, uh, when we're talking about the application, how can be data mining be used? Data mining can be used in different parameters, different fields, in a lot of ways. So medical field, as we have mentioned in here, is one of the field which is uh, getting benefited a lot by data mining. 
especially cancer detection, diabetes prediction, and a lot of other things. So health data mining is one of the causes of you know cure for a lot of you know critical diseases. And if not the cure, it is helping us reduce the effects of the diseases. E-commerce is the only reason which uh, you know data mining came into existence, and data mining is one of the reasons that e-commerce is booming. The rise of Amazon and becoming the you know the most com uh, big company is because of the data mining and the machine learning algorithms which they have developed. Uh, web page analysis, the results which we get, uh, prediction algorithms in the stock market and so much more. So data mining is a diverse field. In fact, I would like you to comment in the comment section whether you have heard of data mining in some way or you experience or maybe you're part of the experience of you know, data mining being done to you. Uh, please share those experiences. Now, what kind of data can be mined? Like I mentioned earlier, what sort of data we can actually mine is like we can mine the relational databases. We have the data warehouses of different types for a period of time, a company or an industry or an institute might have a lot of data. So we can, you know, actually go online and get those data, perform the pre-processing and find out if there are some patterns or interestingness in there. There are sensor data available through IoT. Uh, you know, there is a huge world of IoT getting connected with the help of big data analytics. So sports is the field which is, you know, benefiting a lot. Uh, defense is something which is benefiting a lot. So this kind of IoT census data is used a lot. Time series data, if there is a data over a period of time which we can use in a particular application, that can also be mined. So there are a lot of applications we can also apply data mining and uh, uh, visualizing and graphs are also. So this is uh, what applications of data mining are and in general it is a very broad category. We'll be seeing them in the further lectures as well. Now, before we go further, it's like, what are the major issues in data mining? Because when we are talking about diversity of the data, when we are talking about huge amount of data, along with the benefits, there are a lot of disadvantages. And disadvantages as listed here is the diversity itself can sometimes lead us to, uh, you know, misconceptualize uh, knowledge. Efficiency and scalability can be an issue when we're talking about large scale uh, data. Also processing them requires uh, hardware and structure which is uh, not always available. User interaction is a problem which we have. Sometimes the data mining is, you know, we have to concern about the society, whether this kind of information we can mine or not. So data mining in general is a very wide field. I guess at the end of the lecture, you'll have a brief idea of what is data mining. Thank you, thank you so much for your time and patience. Uh, please subscribe to ED Technology. Uh, hope to see you again in the next lecture. Thank you so much. Hasta la vista.